Welcome to Common Cocktails. Today, we're going to show you how to make a simple cocktail for St. Patrick's Day. It's called the Irish Buck. Think Moscow Mule with Irish whiskey, and you're heading down the right path on this recipe. And we'll be building this recipe with Bushmills original Irish whiskey, a little bit of ginger ale, a little bit of lime. Super simple. And we thank Bushmills, the world's oldest distillery, for sponsoring this video and giving me an opportunity to bring a simple cocktail to your St. Patrick's Day. An easy drink to enjoy your Bushmills Irish whiskey. And stay tuned for after the recipe breakdown, because I'm going to tell you how you get your first St. Patrick's Day cocktail from your favorite local bar on Bushmills tab. The breakdown for the Irish Buck is going to be two ounces of Bushmills original Irish whiskey, one half ounce of lime juice, freshly squeezed, three ounces of ginger ale on the top, and we're going to garnish it with a lime wheel. Use your favorite ginger ale for this recipe if you like those with a bigger zing. Pick your favorite hot ginger ale. If you like it a little bit more subtle, go in that direction. I'm going to be putting this into a highball glass. This is a Chicago highball glass. Probably about three cubes of ice should satisfy it to get it right to the top. Add yourself a straw if you like, and you're ready. And as the first licensed distillery, Bushmills is ready to buy your first drink, a pour, or a cocktail, all for St. Patrick's Day. Now you can go support your favorite local bar, pub, restaurant, grab a to-go cocktail, and bring it home. So, how does that work? Simple, just take a photo of your itemized receipt, upload it to their website, and receive your reimbursement of up to $6 for your beverage. And whenever you're celebrating, you can utilize this offer up until March 18th, 2021. Hit the description below to figure out how to make that happen. Now let's build the drink. We're just, we're just gonna put it all together into a highball. Simple. Typically what you do when you're uh, working at a bar or so I hear is you always pour your cheapest ingredients first. So we're gonna add in uh, the ginger ale, I guess. Three ounces of ginger ale. The theory here is that if you make a mistake, you're losing the least expensive ingredient when you pour it. Two, three. Of course, at home, you could just top it with ginger ale if you don't want to be as precise. Half ounce of lime. Two ounces of Bushmills Irish whiskey. One. Two. Three. We could probably go four. Let's see if it works. Four! Yes! That's science that just happened. Let's add our garnish. Now you can either go on the side. I kind of like it on the side or right on top. Get yourself a straw and you're done. Let's give it a try. Light and refreshing. It starts to make me think it's almost time for spring. The snow starts to melt. It gets you in the right mood to thaw a little bit of that winter ice that's just in that, the lack of vitamin B. And it gives you the chance to want to just like imagine yourself at a pool. Just the right bit of kind of an oaky zing with a little bit of a, a lime back end flavor. Just slightly sour, but not too sour. Easy to drink, easy to make. Good showing for the bush mills. Just the right balance of alcohol to sour. Because you don't want it to be too boozy. I didn't invent the Irish buck, but it's a pretty good recipe. I mean, if I would have invented it, it would have been better. Only because I would have done it. It's fast and easy, and you're not gonna have to spend a lot of time at the store. Just search it for all kinds of ingredients. Grab a bottle of bush mills and you're ready to celebrate. Or you just ask your local bartender to make you one. If they don't have it, give them the recipe that we just created. All they need is the ratios. And then bring it back, taste it along with us. Listen, I know it's been a rough 365 days, but Bush Mills and myself as well, we want you to help those local bars and restaurants during these events. At home, at your local bar, wherever St. Patrick's Day is going to be for you. Celebrate it with a glass of Bush Mills. And remember, St. Patrick's Day cocktails, they don't have to be green. Sure, that one has a little green tinge, but don't make one of those off-balance kind of messes. They can be simple and respect the history of cocktails and riff off of other drinks like the Moscow Mule or the Buck. And for those that want to know, a Buck 
is a classic recipe, which features a core spirit, in this case, Bushmills Irish Whiskey, along with ginger ale and lime, or another type of citrus, maybe lemon. So technically, you're tasting a little bit of history. So there you go. Have a happy St. Patrick's Day. Stay safe. Stay warm. We're teaching you how to drink.